Hey guys, Daniel Kazinas here. In this video, I'm going to be making the engines water cooled. Start by taking the heads off. Anyway, after staring at this for ages, thinking about the best way to do it, I've just got to commit to it and start cutting up this motor. Oh, nothing quite like cutting the cooling fins off a brand new motor. I wonder if that voids the warranty. Looks like I got just enough room to fit the sleeve around there. I'll use two mil plate, I think. Just gotta precisely mark this out. Grind a little bit off the sides, so not too much. Okay, good news guys, got the first tack on. It looks like it's welding reasonably clean. All right, that actually welded it really nicely. Lucky, eh? It's all welded now. Welding around that exhaust flange was tricky. I had to have two goes at it. We've got some more good news after this is cooled down. The piston still fits in there. That's great. Got the solder here set up in the lathe. Have to do it between centers. Just face this side off and then I have to bring this side back. So the head will fit on properly. Okay, I made a whole heap of these little nipples to weld on here so I can plumb up the water. The, I've welded the water feed lines on and then I've just drilled through so the water should be able to get in there now. Time to put these engines back together. Instead of using a Lovejoy coupling, here's one at work. I ended up just uh, cutting a thread on this end and then I'm just going to weld, I made this little piece here up in the lathe and I'm just going to weld that to the end and I'm just going to make a plastic coupling that joins those two together similar to how I made the impala. printed this piece but I printed it the whole thing on an angle, see if you can see the lines there, so it's got less chance of shearing. I ended up printing a different style of adapter for the two motors. This one feeds into the fins here because the other one um, ended up cracking. So that's got to fit in there, but it's tight. So I hope this one is stronger. Also, I made a little brace here to connect the tops of the motor so the whole thing will be a bit more rigid now and just like that it's all together so I've wrapped this in copper pipe so the water is going to feed in this line here weave around this pipe go through a rubber hose to the other pipe weave around this pipe back down here into the engine through the casing through the water jacket through this pipe into this water jacket and then it's going to exit out there so I'll have that pipe will be out the front of the board somewhere so I can see the water coming out. Well time for a get ready to run first person montage. <laughs>
Okay, after that masterpiece of cinematography, I've got all this uh, hooked up. I've got a water bottle here that's going to drain through. I've just got this line above the water bottle for now. I'm just going to tip this bottle over and see if we've got any leaks. Can't see any leaks so far. Should be water coming out of here. Got one leak here. cooling is working that's good there'll be a lot more flow going through yeah that's working good it's heating that up before it goes into the cylinders so it doesn't cold shock the cylinders uh-oh coupling's gone Ooh, nasty So it looks like it's just pulled the center out of that 3D printed part, but I've only used 10% infill. It's basically a shell. I don't know if you can see there's little bits of cross hatching. Those of you that don't know about 3D printing, you can print with less infill and it does like a honeycomb cross section in there. So it takes up less plastic and takes and it's quicker. Because of these, the shape of these fins, it was difficult to print. So I ended up trying three different sizes before I got the right one that's why I did a slow infill because I wasn't sure it was going to fit but now that I know that this one works I'll print it at 100% infill so hopefully that holds up. Cooling system seems to be working I couldn't believe there was no leaks so the water is going to feed from this side of the jet unit from there and it's going to go into that pipe get preheated by the exhaust then through the cylinders and dump out probably the front of the board so I can see it. I've still got to put the small diameter pipes on the end of here. They're about 200 long. I might bend them around. I've got to make like a water box exhaust with some sort of one-way valve. And I've got to make the board. So plenty to do. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.